Welcome to the Bible Quiz Channel. Get ready for 15 questions exploring the life and teachings of Jesus. Subscribe, like, and share your score. Join as a member for exclusive content. Let's begin. Question 1. Who did Jesus say would be raised up at the last day for having believed in him? A. The disciples. B. Everyone who sees the sun. C. Those who work miracles. D. Everyone who hears his word. Time to think. The right answer is letter B. Gospel of John, chapter 6, verse 40. And this is the will of him that sent me, that everyone which seeth the Son and believeth on him may have everlasting life, and I will raise him up at the last day. Question 2. Who was appointed as the leader of the church in Jerusalem after the ascension of Jesus? A. James B. Paul C. Peter D. John Time to think. The right answer is letter A. Acts of the Apostles, chapter 15, verse 13. And after they had held their peace, James answered, saying, Men and brethren, hearken unto me. Question 3. What did Jesus use to heal a blind man in Bethsaida? A. He touched the man's eyes with his hands. B. He spat on the man's eyes and put his hands upon him. C. He used mud made from his saliva. D. He spoke a word of healing. Time to think. The right answer is letter B. And he took the blind man by the hand and led him out of the town. And when he had spit on his eyes and put his hands upon him, he asked him if he saw aught. Gospel of Mark, chapter 8, verse 23. Question 4. How many times did Jesus tell Peter to forgive someone who sins against him? A. Seven times. B. 70 times 7. C. 70 times. D. 7 times 70. Time to think. The right answer is letter B. Then came Peter to him, and said, Lord, how oft shall my brother sin against me, and I forgive him, till seven times? Jesus saith unto him, I say not unto thee, until seven times, but until seventy times seven. Gospel of Matthew chapter 18 verses 21 and 22. Question 5. Who was with the Virgin Mary at the foot of the cross when Jesus was crucified? A. Peter B. John C. Matthew D. Paul Time to think. The right answer is letter B. When Jesus therefore saw his mother, 
and the disciple standing by, whom he loved, he saith unto his mother, Woman, behold thy son. Then saith he to the disciple, Behold thy mother. And from that hour that disciple took her unto his own home. Gospel of John chapter 19 verses 26 and 27. Question 6. Who was the servant whose ear Peter cut off when Jesus was arrested? A. Malchus B. Barnabas C. Caiaphas D. Ananias Time to think. The right answer is letter A. Then Simon Peter, having a sword, drew it and smote the high priest's servant and cut off his right ear. The servant's name was Malchus. Gospel of John, chapter 18, verse 10. Question 7. What nickname did Jesus give to John and his brother James? A. Sons of Thunder. B. Brothers of Light C. Fishermen of Men D. Pillars of Faith Time to think. The right answer is letter A and James the son of Zebedee, and John the brother of James, and he surnamed them Boanerges, which is the sons of thunder. Gospel of Mark, chapter 3, verse 17. Question 8. What was the response of Jesus when he healed the ten lepers and only one returned to give thanks? A. Thy faith hath made thee whole. B. Go and tell no one. C. Why did none return? D. Rejoice, for your sins are forgiven. Time to think. The right answer is letter A. And Jesus answering said, Were there not ten cleansed? But where are the nine? There are not found that return to give glory to God, save this stranger. And he said unto him, Arise, go thy way, thy faith hath made thee whole. Gospel of Luke, chapter 17, verses 17 to 19. Question 9. What did Paul do after his vision in Troas? A. He went to Antioch. B. He prepared to go to Macedonia. C. He visited Ephesus. D. He remained in Troas. Time to think. The right answer is letter B. And after he had seen the vision, immediately we endeavored to go into Macedonia, assuredly gathering that the Lord had called us for to preach the gospel unto them. Book of Acts, chapter 16, verse 10. Question 10. Who immediately recognized Jesus as the son of David, leading to his request being granted for mercy? A. A Roman centurion. B. Jairus. C. Zacchaeus. D. Two blind men. Time to think. The right answer is letter D. 
Gospel of Matthew chapter 9 verses 27 to 30 And when Jesus departed thence, two blind men followed him, crying and saying, Thou son of David, have mercy on us. And when he was come into the house, the blind men came to him. And Jesus saith unto them, Believe ye that I am able to do this? They said unto him, Yea, Lord. Then touched he their eyes, saying, According to your faith be it unto you. And their eyes were opened, and Jesus straightly charged them, saying, See that no man know it. Question 11. What did Peter see when he was on the roof praying at Joppa? A. A vision of Elijah. B. A vision of a large sheet with various animals. C. A vision of the temple in Jerusalem. D. A vision of Jesus' resurrection. Time to think. The right answer is letter B. On the morrow, as they went on their journey and drew nigh unto the city, Peter went up upon the housetop to pray about the sixth hour, and he became very hungry and would have eaten. But while they made ready, he fell into a trance and saw heaven opened and a certain vessel descending unto him, as it had been a great sheet knit at the four corners and let down to the earth wherein were all manner of four-footed beasts of the earth, and wild beasts, and creeping things, and fowls of the air. Acts of the Apostles, chapter 10, verses 9 to 12. Question 12. How did Mary describe herself in her response to the angel's announcement of her bearing a son? A. As God's messenger. B as the mother of the Savior. C. As the handmaid of the Lord. D. As the chosen one of God. Time to think. The right answer is letter C. Gospel of Luke, chapter 1, verse 38. And Mary said, Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it unto me according to thy word. And the angel departed from her. Question 13. In which city did Paul give his famous speech at the Areopagus? A. Rome. B. Athens. C. Jerusalem. D. Ephesus. Time to think. The right answer is letter B. Then Paul stood in the midst of Mars Hill and said, Ye men of Athens, I perceive that in all things ye are too superstitious. Acts of the Apostles, chapter 17, verse 22. Question 14. What event involving Jesus led to the Holy Spirit descending upon the Apostles in the book of Acts? A. The Baptism of Jesus. B. The Last Supper. C. The Ascension of Jesus. D. The Transfiguration. Time to think. The right answer is letter C. And he said unto them, It is not for you to know the times or the seasons, which the Father hath put in his own power. But ye shall receive power, after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem, and in all Judea, and in Samaria, 
and unto the uttermost part of the earth. And when he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up, and a cloud received him out of their sight. Book of Acts, chapter 1, verses 7 to 9. Question 15. What was the name of the man who instructed Cornelius to send for Peter? A. Ananias B. It was an angel C. Uncleanness D. Tobias Time to think. The right answer is letter B. He saw in a vision evidently about the ninth hour of the day an angel of God coming in to him and saying unto him, Cornelius, Acts of the Apostles, chapter 10, verse 3. Wow, that was an enlightening journey through the scriptures. How did you fare? Remember, whether you aced it or learned something new today, the Word of God is always full of wonders waiting to be explored. Now, if you enjoyed this quiz, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to share it with your friends and family. Let's see how they do. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button to stay updated with more quizzes and biblical insights. And most importantly, we'd love to hear your thoughts. Comment down below with your score any questions you might have, or even suggestions for future quizzes. Together we can grow and deepen our understanding of God's Word. Thank you for joining us today, and may you always be blessed on your spiritual journey. Until next time, stay inspired.